Welcome, I am TST Tyler, and today we will be putting one NBA legend onto every team. Uh, it's a pretty simple idea, but I mean, that's it. We just put the best player from each team onto each NBA team. Obviously, we're not repeating players. We're not using players that are still in the NBA. I think there might be one exception, kind of. And um, I tried to go with like the more iconic player if there was a choice onto two players. Um, but some players didn't really have iconic players that were good. We'll get it started with the Philadelphia 76ers, Allen Iverson. Pretty obvious. Also, I changed the positions around so it works the best with the team. So we have AI and then Harden back at the two and Bede. That's a pretty good team. The Bucks get Kareem. Kareem and Giannis is pretty nuts. The Bulls, you knew Michael Jordan was going to be in this video. I, I don't know what you thought otherwise. Uh, Cavs, Ilgauskas, which... Obviously, LeBron, no LeBron, we can't do LeBron, we can't do Kyrie. Mark Price was there too, but I figured people just know Big Z maybe a little bit better. Um, the Celtics, Larry Bird. Larry Bird, Bill Russell, but they already have Robert Williams, so that works better this way. The Los Angeles Clippers, they get Bob McAdoo. There were two other options. I think one of them was Blake, and he is still in the NBA, but he's a bum, so it doesn't matter. But I figured I'd go with Bob McAdoo because Blake was a 90. Grizzlies. This is one where I chose just like a more well-known player. Like he is a Memphis legend. The other option was Pau Gasol, but I think he's more known on the Lakers. Atlanta Hawks, Dominique Wilkins. For the Heat, we have Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade, Jimmy Butler, and Bam Adebayo is kind of like a knockoff big three from 2011-2012. With LeBron and Bosh. Hornets, Kimball Walker. He is going to be known as one of the better Charlotte Hornets of all time. I think Glenn Rice would have also been there, but Kimba is a Hornets icon. Utah Jazz, John Stockton. Um, we know why it's not his uh, duo partner. Kings, Oscar Robertson. Uh, he is a point guard, but he did actually go up at a shooting guard deer and would have gone down at point guard. The Knicks, Patrick Ewing. Um... You could maybe say Melo is more iconic, but uh, Patrick Ewing is, is a pretty well-known Nick. And he works well with his team. Lakers, Kobe. You could say Magic Johnson, but with personal bias, I, I chose Kobe. Uh, Magic, T-Mac. He has nothing here. Um, it was between T-Mac, Dwight, and Shaq. But 2K kind of dis disrespects... Uh, Magic Shaq, so T Mac was the best overall player. Him or Penny? Like, I mean, there was a decent amount of options, but uh, T Mac it is. Mavericks, Dirk, not close. Nets, it was between Julius Irvin and Jason Kidd, but this is a pretty scary lineup. Nuggets, this is, I think, our only exception with the current rule. Um, I believe Carmelo Anthony's still in free agency, um, but he goes on this team, and this team, Jokic and Melo. A pure scorer and a pure playmaker is kind of nuts. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal for the Pacers. Baron Davis for the Pelicans. Isaiah Thomas for the Pistons. Vince Carter for the Raptors. I don't think there's anyone else there. Maybe Bosh, but Vince has it. Hakeem Olajuwon. Uh, I think Moses Malone would win the other option. Spurs, Tim Duncan. I hope he carries his team. <laughs> the Suns, Steve Nash. Now, this one is probably not the best fit, but it was just too much talent to pass up on. Chris Paul is coming off the bench. Stoudemire might have worked better with the team, but Nash is just too much talent. Thunder, Gary Payton. Timberwolves, Kevin Garnett. This is also insane because Kevin Garnett is going to run the five, and Gobert is going to be on the bench, which, yeah, that's insane. Clyde Drexler with the Trailblazers. Walt Chamberlain with Curry. We'll see how good they can be. And then Gilbert Arenas. With Bradley Beal. Wes Unseld's a better, but Gilbert might be the more well-known player. I'm not sure about that one. But that is the entire NBA with one legend added. We're going to do three seasons of Sim. People can change teams. I'm not I'm not banning that. And we'll see what happens. Okay, Luka wins MVP. Wait, what? <laughs> Luka won MVP even with all these people? Okay. Uh, Hakeem. Got Defensive Player of the Year. Ty Lu is coach of the year. I can't remember what team that is. Uh, Tim Duncan and Giannis and wait, oh, okay. So Tim Duncan and Wilt first team. 
Larry Bird, Julius Irvin, Isaiah Thomas, Oscar Robertson, Tracy McGrady, Dwayne Wade, Dirk, Vince Carter, Kevin Garnett. I forgot to turn injuries off. I'll do that next time. I'm sorry, Kevin. Um, Akeem on defensive. Jordan on defensive. I wonder how he did. Okay, so he's so balled out. He just didn't make a team, so okay. The Lakers make it in. I, they're a playing team. You would think they would just win the whole thing. I, I guess it's just purely a big three. I'm not sure. Lakers have a decent team. Mavericks are pretty good. We're just gonna go through round one. Milwaukee should knock off the Pacers and they sweep. Sweeps almost all the way around except for the Warriors and the Cavs, which is kind of surprising. So Milwaukee, Miami. And they put Harrow at point guard. So that, that and they got Miles Bridges. That team's deep. And the Bucks got Ben Simmons? Hold on, we're going to look at some transactions. Drew Holiday for Ben Simmons. That was the biggest one. So Ben Simmons, the Ben Simmons trade was the biggest one. This team is huge. That is, I don't think, Allen's the shortest dude, and he's 6'4", and everyone else is 6'7 or above. That is absurd. And they're going to sweep. Oh, they didn't sweep, okay. But Milwaukee and Toronto, so Vince Carter. I mean, that's a pretty deep team, yeah. I think the East is going to win this one. Because the Clippers are not good enough to win the title. Grizzlies, they have Zebo, so that's surprising that that's the team that's doing all this. And the Clippers make it. Bucks, I think, are going to take it in five. And the Clippers won the top. Who knew that Bob McAdoo would be the most influential man in basketball? Uh, just having a quick look through the league. We'll see if anyone jumped teams. Uh, nothing so far. Oh! Hakeem went to the Pacers. Halliburton, Jermaine O'Neal, and Hakeem Olajuwon. That's that's a big three that I never thought I'd see. What? Kevin Garnett goes to the Rockets. So I think those were the only two really big moves. It was just uh, Hakeem and uh, Kevin Garnett. But that Pacers team is a little bit scary. Uh, year two... I guess we'll find out what happens. Year two, John Morant wins it. That's kind of crazy. Michael Jordan, your defensive player of the year. Uh, we got Derek, Julius Irving, Bob McAdoo, Tim Duncan, Oscar Robertson, uh, Dwayne Wade, Michael Jordan, Mello, Vince Carter. Um... We'll see what happens here. I think okay, Golden State's in and Dallas is in. So, yeah, they're still being carried by the two stars. They didn't really get any help, which kind of need that. And Indy's in a close series with the Heat, and they win in six. And it's 3-3 here, Denver versus Golden State. We're going to go ahead and take a look at this. And, oh, the Nuggets, are they're stomping them out here. Big game from Melo with a triple double, du two triple doubles from both of your stars. That's that's great. And they got Jamie Grant, so that seems that seems not that bad. Curry, oh they dropped the ball. Dang, that's crazy. Okay, so round two, Memphis. So your jaw led team. That's that's a very deep team. I can't even. De'Aaron, Oscar team isn't that crazy they added Vucevic though so that bench is is pretty good mostly close series here Indiana beats Milwaukee Boston's up 3-2 and there were two game sevens Memphis beats Sacramento and Cleveland beats Boston I wasn't expecting that now you have Cleveland Indiana versus Memphis and the Clippers Cleveland makes it and the Clippers make it, and they have a chance to go back to back. What is happening? Who is ba this? Is insane. Bob McAdoo is giving everyone the work. Apparently, the best player in NBA history is Bob McAdoo because the Clippers 
have have repeated. They are two and zero, oh, and if they repeat this video, I will have no idea how to respond to that. So for the final year of the uh, video, Lamelo Ball, Kim Walker, still John Stockton, Vince Carter, and Dejounte Murray. Hey, the Jazz man. Nets stick with the, what they've been working with the entire time. Same with the Nuggets. The Pacers lose, uh, was that Hakeem? Yeah, that was Hakeem. And that'll do it for all the teams. I think the teams probably should be scared of are the Celtics, the Jazz, and, um, apparently the Clippers. I, I don't know. But I think my pick would be... To either the Celtics or the Grizzlies, I feel like for some reason the Jazz one just won't work because of their lap lack of depth. I think something to note is that no legend won an MVP. I think it was it was Garland and John ja Luca, I think. Michael Jordan, two time defensive player of the year in the video. And Rick Carlisle, who I believe is the Oh, he's the Pacers coach. Hey, I mean the Pacers lost um I think it was Halliburton, but Oh no, they lost Hakeem, but I mean, team could be good. McAdoo just will not give up. He is relentless. Michael Jordan on the second team. Dwayne Wade, I believe, has made an All-NBA team every year. Yeah, he has. He was third team every season. See if the Nuggets can get out, and they do. And the Pelicans barely miss. And the J See, I told you something. Oh, wait, no. That's not the... The Jazz. Yeah, something was going to happen with the Jazz, man. Too good to be true. I had faith in the Celtics who missed everything? What? This team misses the playoffs. I don't know anymore. Pacers make it out. Cleveland sweeps. Oh, I, did, I think I did say something about uh, the, the Cavs. And OKC loses round one. I mean, Denver Denver still has Melo and Jokic, so it's a it's a good team. It's a good combo. Michael Porter is getting better, but the Grizzlies. I know I said something about the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies are a very good team, and I I should stop talking because both of them lost the Cavs and the Grizzlies. So now we have Houston. Oh my! Guess what, guys? The Clippers are gone. Awesome. We have Kevin Garnett, Carmelo Anthony, Jermaine O'Neal, and Kareem. So hopefully it's Kareem versus KG. It's it's KG versus Jermaine O'Neal. We're going to go game by game. First game goes to the Pacers. And Benedict Matherin drops 40. Sorry, 39. Ah. You know what? I mean, Jermaine, double-double, shoots awful, and KG did nothing. So, you know, I don't know. Pacers up 2-0. And Jalen Duran did more work than Jermaine O'Neal. 22 assists? Who are you, man? I mean, KG tried. I don't, I don't know. Apparently, we don't know something about the Pacers with Tyrese Halliburton. Dropping 16 assists per game is nuts. So what we figured is that when you add one legend to every team in the NBA, Bob McAdoo and Jermaine O'Neal run the league. I hope you enjoyed. And I hope you found some entertainment in that because I definitely did. And uh, subscribe if you're new and I'll see you all next time.